going on guys? My name is X Super Lobbies, and you're going to be watching this video a little bit in the future because I'm not going to be here from June 3rd to June 8th. I'm going to be inactive, but I'm going to schedule upload some of my videos so they can upload without me being here. So this is going to be one of my videos. It's going to be on how to change your MAC address on DAX or SEX. It's basically spoofing it because you're going to have to redo this process every time you guys want to change your MAC address. But it's so much easier than downgrading all the way to 355 and using Hex Editor and all that stuff. It's just a huge hassle. This is working on all custom firmware, SEX or DEX. So what you guys want to do is go ahead and download this. Link will be in the description. Working on all firmware. Download that. And then after you guys have downloaded that, just leave it aside for now. Make a new text document. And you guys are going to rename this to MAC, all capital, and open it up. Then in the description, I'm going to have a like little thing to which you guys have to paste here. And paste that. And then put a space. And then right here is where you're going to put your original MAC address. So go to System Settings on your PS3 and System Information. And type your MAC address in here without the semicolon. So E3, EE, 4D, C8, and then C, and then another number. I'm going to like hide that out. And then um, I'm going to show you guys that the first changed and stuff. So just put your original MAC there. And then File, Save. And then click on X, X out. Now open up FileZilla, connect, and put this in your USB. I'm just gonna do mine to FileZilla. So if your USB is in your PS3, just drag the Mac onto your USB. And after you guys have done that, go back onto your PS3. So you guys can see the first couple digits of my Mac address here. So now just go there and now install this PKG. So. Just install it with install package files. I've already installed mine, so I didn't start it back on up. Once it started up, make sure you guys don't do anything right away because there's a lot of stuff in here that could like really harm your PS3. So once you guys see the screen like this, just hit circle and it's gonna bring this up. It just hit OK and then hit yes. It's gonna soft reboot and just hit OK. So you guys are going to have to redo that process every time you guys turn on your PS3 because, uh, you know, you have to. It's because we're not changing it permanently, we're spoofing it. But it will still let you be, it'll still let you get on those games that you're banned from, like GTA 5, Black Ops 2, any other game that MAC address bans. So, you know, yeah, that's that. So if you want to go over to system information, you guys can see that the front of the MAC address changed to 0000. zero, zero, zero. So, yeah, that's how you guys do it. Um, so, and if you guys reboot your PS3, it's going back to the original one. So, every time you boot up your PS3, just go ahead and change the MAC address. You guys don't have to do that. Like, so, what we just did, and then your PS3 reboots, that's when your MAC address is spoofed. So, if you turn your PS3 off after this, so say I were to turn off my PS3 now, and turn it back on, it would be my original MAC address. So you guys have to re like redo that every time you want to spoof your MAC address, but it's so much easier than downgrading 355 and you know all that stuff. It's just really annoying. So hopefully this video did help some of you guys out. If it did, feel free to drop a like on this video. It really helps me out a lot, guys. And I hope to see you guys in my next video. Peace.